With all due respect, Claudia, you don't know the players. Five families up here never even heard that Anthony Zakara had a daughter. Well, then it's about time they did. I'm particularly interested in meeting the Sonny Carentas. I can't quite picture him in my mind, but from what I've heard, I'm fascinated already. Uh... <laughs> Boss, uh, you want me to do something for you? Yeah. I need you to go pick up Michael from school. Bring him here. Okay. Got your message. What's up? Uh, I need you to find somebody. We need to get a lead on this guy, Moreau. I want to know what he's transporting, why he's so mysterious, and what his interests are in Port Charles. Are you here? Or Because, what are you doing? No, I'm here. Uh, yeah, I'm here. But when you're looking down on okay, the thing, I, I got men looking for Moreau. I got men at the monastery where Lulu was held. There's nothing. It's like he doesn't exist. You know what? If you had a muzzle on Johnny Zakar while I was gone and, and, you know, figured out what was what was on the boat besides Luke Spencer's daughter. You know, every time I try to get, I try to, you know, I have a chance to just knock him off, something gets in the way. Oh, maybe I should tell you something. What is it going to tell me? Are you trying to tell me oh, something? Sonny, I'm just saying, maybe we should do nothing at this point and see what happens. You're too upset about Kay. I'm not upset about Kay. I'm just trying to, you know, I'm getting back in business. I don't want to let things alone for a while. Are you busy or, or what? No. I went to visit uh, Anthony Zakar and uh, for a head on a stick, he's still, he's still present enough to know what's coming down. I want to know what it is because I don't want to be surprised. You got plenty of time to meet Sonny Carindos. Could this room be any more dark and depressing? No wonder my father went crazy here. Oh, yeah. You gotta take my lead in things like this. Carindos is a sociopath. You get to meet him in the wrong time, at the wrong place, you end up dead. Is this the biggest mistake you, Sonny Carindos, or anyone can make? You think that I can be taken off guard that easily? I can't. Jump this down on your to-do list, Trev. I want that red painting from the parlor brought in for the east wall where it can get the west sun. I want someone to keep fresh flowers in here at all times. Get some drapes that didn't come from the mortuary, will ya? <clears throat> and most importantly, call that meeting with the five families. Let them know that absenteeism will be cause for reprisal. Claudia. Claudia. What do you want me to tell them about you? Nothing. It'll be a nice surprise. Not wise. That's being reckless. So are you by arguing with me. more than you bargained for. <laughs> Sally, I'm a patient man. Your sister needs to be kept in line and you're going to help me do it. She wants a meeting with the five families. Just like that. Well, you know, the last time we had a similar tete-a-tete, -tete, it turned into a disaster because of you. Now, if she walks in there like that, if she walks in there, she's going to leave the same wreckage behind her that I did. Only she won't have to use a baseball bat. And that's a serious problem. That's your problem. You're the one that brought Claudia here to replace me as head of this family so you can continue to call the shots. No, Johnny, I brought her here to help you because you wouldn't listen. And if she makes the same mistake, she's going to end up getting hurt. <laughs> that's not going to happen. Isn't this ironic? That I want you to be the rational one and talk to her? Well, she's going to listen to you because she's got a soft spot. Yeah, well, it looks like she lost that too when she left. I mean, I remember gifts every once in a while for birthdays or Christmas till I was, what, nine? And then nothing. Except for my father trying to shoot me and winding up killing my mother in the process. <sighs> Maybe Claudia got out at the right time. Just wish she'd taken me with her.
day off? Because I need you to find out what you can about Alcazar's old waterfront property. What would Sky's gone? Would, uh, then you need to find her and make her an offer. I mean, you wasted Alcazar for her, right? She owes us. Wh why do you keep holding that? It's nothing. It's just uh, somebody I, I, mean, I may need you to find. So, somebody, not Kate? Not Kate. I think the last thing you'd want is another woman right now. Where, where does that come from? Excuse me, I get a, I get a, okay. I get a uh, Hey. I need to see you. Yeah, me too. Can we meet at the house? Yeah, on my way. I have to take care of something. Hey, first of all. We're not done. Uh, Sonny, I, I need to take care of this. I'll, I'll be No, back. no, we're not done. I'm back. We're not done. Hey, where are you going in such a hurry? Nowhere. Let's be honest, that's exactly where my life is headed. What are you talking about? John, look at you. I think you turned out okay, and despite everything. Yeah, well, looks can be deceiving, can't they, Claudia? I can't drive without going 40 miles over the speed limit. I jump off of buildings. I even blow up family ships, and look. Barely scratch on the outside. It's messed up. But you want to know what's even more messed up? I like it. I like seeing how far I can push life. I like going for that rush. Maybe that's exactly how it started with Dad, huh? Wanted a taste of something wild, but he just couldn't satisfy it, so we went crazy in the process. I don't think that's how it happened. You wouldn't know you weren't here. Well, it's not going to happen to you. <laughs> you don't know the answer to that either, because I'm willing to bet you're not going to stick around long enough to see it out. I didn't just leave, John. I was sent away. And you didn't say goodbye. I tried. You didn't even want to talk to me. Look, I don't know if you remember this or not, but when you were little, one year for your birthday, I bought you one of those little toy pianos. You used to bang at it all the time until your mother sat you down at the real one. Anyway, you kept it on a shelf in your room, and the day that I left, I came in and I said, Hey, John, I love you. And you picked up that toy piano and smashed it up against your dresser until it was in splinters. And I left. I've always wondered if you still play. In the minor keys. That's what makes the song sound so damn lonely. See? Lonely. No, it's not. It's more like a sad, beautiful yearning. You need to let up on Johnny. No. Why don't you suddenly the devoted sister? You know, it's against my instincts. But I set up a meeting with the five families, and I'm going with you. Aren't you suddenly the devoted lawyer? No. Well, I'm going to back you up because you're going to need me. And no telling what Sonny's going to do when he sees you. And he's not going to cut you any slack because you're a woman. Good. I'm not going to cut him any slack because I'm a woman either. It should be a very interesting meeting.